Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another holiday slay. This is going to be a makeup plus a hair video. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I install and prep this beautiful bob with bangs from Diva Wigs. It is a 360 unit and I've never actually seen that with this particular style. The lace did come bleached and it has two combs on the side, one in the middle and there's one at the bottom. The bangs were a little interesting when they arrived because of how they were packaged. But no worries, all we have to do is flat iron that. The unit is in length 12 and this is Malaysian hair. The density is also 180%. I did get my lace color in medium brown and the cap size is a cap size average. So I'm just going to insert a TPN just so that I can have security as I'm flat ironing the hair. I'm applying some crocodile clips just to get some of the hair out of the way that I'm not working on and then I'm going to proceed to flat iron. And I'm going to be using my Vanity Planet Ceramic Flat Iron in order to do so. I maybe had to do about two or three passes on each section. The cool thing about this unit is that it also came pre-plugged so if you wanted to pull the sides back and maybe wear a sleek uh, bob look you could absolutely do that. You could pull the bangs back if desired and you can also pull it up in the back and maybe do a small ponytail and a nice little style for the holiday. I do want to share that now that we've gotten to the bangs, it's a better idea to go ahead and part the area behind where the bangs are and also flatten that area out just to make sure that it looks more natural and it's not super bulky at the top. So I just completed that process on both sides and then turned it around in the back in order to complete the flat ironing process in that area as well. I still had the top layer to do and the hair looks really good. It's so flowy. I just love that about this unit. So now I'm gonna turn it around in the front and I would advise you to maybe try using a half inch flat iron for this particular area because the bangs are quite short. I was able to do a decent job with the flat iron that I have but it would be better if I had a smaller one. Oh my baby, got me staring at you. So I'm crazy, won't you bend that back for me? We won't stop, got your feet both locked You get to flock with me I can take you down for a ride I take you around my life Jaywalking, crosswalking, flip blocking with you Alright ladies, now it's time to move on to the makeup portion of this video. So I'm going to start by applying my Stay Matte Primer and this is by Rimmel London. This is a staple of mine. I like to use this because I have dry to oily skin and this really helps to give me a matte finish. The foundation that I like to use is Fit Me by Maybelline and this is very affordable. You can find it in Walmart, you can find it anywhere. I love this foundation and there are more um, premium or luxury type foundations that you can use. But this one, I feel like does a job. So I'm not gonna spend a great deal of money on other foundations just to have a name brand. This works, so yeah, I'm going with this. So after I've used my over brush in order to blend it out, I proceed to move on to my concealer. And I actually use three different concealers. I use the MAC NT45 Pro Longwear Concealer. I also use LA Pro in color medium beige and in color fawn. It's actually running low on my MAC concealer, so I definitely have to get some more after this video. So I like to just mix them on the back of my hand and then begin applying them to my face. This is actually the first step of my my highlighting and contouring process so I start under my eyes with the lighter colors first which is where the Sun will naturally hit so I'm just lighting up those areas and then I'm going to use a beauty blender in order to blend it
cleaned it out disregard how dirty mine was i know somebody's probably gonna say that but i'm gonna clean it girl um so i'm just gonna blend that out and i also carry it under my nose just at the top of my lip area and then i also proceed to put some on the under part of where my cheekbones are so I'm just going to also apply it to my nose and also my forehead because the sun is going to hit in that area too. And it just makes for a better look when you've applied it in these areas. And you just want to blend, blend, blend. It may look a little crazy in the beginning, but just keep blending. And then I'm going to set it with my Sasha Buttercup powder. And I apply this in every area that I apply the um, concealer. Well, except for the area where my laugh lines are, I didn't apply concealer there, but I like to put some of the powder in that area just so that I can help to decrease the lines. When I have completed this process, I move on to my contouring and I like to use this black opal stick. And I believe the color that I have is dark brown. I'm not 100% certain, but it will be in the description box. So I'm just gonna put that there and then I'm actually gonna blend it out. I try to subtly drag the product up to the area where the laugh line powder has been placed. And then I use it around my nose and also on my forehead just to make sure that it's fully contoured. The next step is my blush and I like to use this blush palette by BH Cosmetics and this is the color that I go for every time. I think it looks so great on my skin. I'm adding some color to my face. I'm just kind of smiling and placing it on my the apples of my cheeks and then just carrying it along my cheekbones. After I've done that, I like to buff it out with a buffing brush and then I proceed to add some to my nose and also to one side of my forehead. I don't know why I only do one, but that's what I do. And then I use this Deluxe Addiction Carly Bible palette. I love this one because it has eyeshadows and also highlighters. So that's awesome. And this is the golden color that I use. I generally only use my fingers to do this. Well, lately that's what I've been doing because I feel like the warmth of my finger just helps for it to go on and look more seamless. So I start with the apples of my cheeks and then I just carry it along my cheekbones just to highlight that area. And this is where the sun is going to naturally hit. So it's going to look great in photos and in person. And I don't do mine really intense because I like for it to look natural. I also carry it along my nose. I did my eyebrows off camera, but I do have an eyebrow tutorial and I will link that in the cards for you all. I proceed to add some Sasha Buttercup on my eyelids just to dry out any of the oils. And then I'm going to use this Juvia palette in order to create my eyeshadow look. So my eyeshadow look is going to be with this brick color. I started with that color first. And then I'm just going to deepen the area along my um, creases with a brown from the palette. And I love this palette because it's highly pigmented and it's perfect for women of color. The Kiss Easy lashes are my favorite. These are the ones that I go for a great deal. They're not overly dramatic. And to me, they look very natural. So I like to apply the Duo Lash Glue to the band just before I'm about to begin working on my eyeliner so that it has enough time to dry. So I'm just gonna line my eyes with this H2O liner and this is by Wet n Wild. I love this one because if I were to get watery eyes or anything, I don't have to worry about the transfer, so that's great. Under my bottom lash line, I like to add a bit of color and I'm just gonna add the brown from the Juvia's palette to that area. When I have completed that process, I like to move on to highlighting or giving a pop of color to my inner tear ducts. I'm gonna grab the Carly Bible palette once more and I'm using a golden eyeshadow color for this particular area. And I love the way that this looks. It actually makes you look more awake. After applying product in that area, I'm just gonna sweep away the excess powder that I used and it's gonna give you a more flawless finish. And you can just buff everything out and blend some more if you'd like. Now moving on to the lipstick. I get asked about this lipstick look so much. So this is the Nika K Velveteen line lipstick. I started with the blackberry color first and I'm using this color just to deepen the red that I will be using at the end. I generally just line my lips with that product, but I decided this time I was going to fill in the entire lip and then just line my lip with Tenacious Brown Lip Liner from Jordana. Right now I'm just finishing off my eyelashes, which just enhances the look so much more. Once this is complete, and y'all can see I'm really feeling that, um, you could stop here. This is a look right here. But I decided to use my Lena Lashes Matte Lip Color, and this is in color Slayage. I like this color alone, but I love it so much more with the Blackberry. So I'm just going to apply this all over the lips and try my best not to go outside the line. When we are finished applying the lip color, then the look is complete. And I love how it turned out. 
girl now it's time to slay with this wig so i'm just going to cut off the lace and i'm not going to show all of it on camera and then we're going to prepare to install and this is going to be such an easy install bangs are so fun and they are so convenient and easy you can just put the wig on and you're good to go with this one i put it on and then just proceeded to adjust it insert the combs and move it up so it's far enough it was giving me naomi campbell vibes and also michelle obama vibes this unit is so so cute i just love it but i decided to go a step further and actually cut some of the sides more so I'm just going to frame my face a bit more grabbing a section of hair and then grabbing my shears I'm just going to begin cutting and I like to start a little lower than where I know it needs to be cut first and then work my way up that's the safest way to cut bangs you don't want to start high and then work your way down because there's not going to be anywhere to go so you give yourself a bit of range just starting lower and then working your way up so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and then the look is going to be complete guys it turned out so so nicely this holiday look is gorgeous all right ladies this video is complete this is my outfit of the day just wanted to give you all some inspiration for the holidays be sure to check the description box for the link to this particular unit and also all the details for my makeup i love you guys and i'll see you all in the next one bye guys